Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown with me, Michael. I'm your incredible host. All right, today we are going to be doing arms, bicep and tricep. Uh, so far this week, uh, I've been doing a different routine that I kind of come up with. I don't know if I come up with it, but I'm gonna say I come up with it. Uh, where I'm doing one movement for the body part that I'm training uh, like legs were Monday. I used my uh, compact leg hack press and did a bunch of sets and a bunch of reps with that. Yesterday, Tuesday was chest day. I used my Smith machine and did a bunch of sets of flat uh, barbell presses on the Smith machine. Lots of sets, lots of reps. Well, not as many reps as I wanted, but a lot of reps. And today is gonna be the arms. I'm gonna be doing bicep and tricep. And I believe the movement of choice today is going to be, uh, for the biceps, I'm gonna do concentration curls and I'm gonna do the old fashioned kind where you're sitting on the bench and you're leaning over and you got your elbow against your knee. Now you can do some that I've showed before uh, that you can do on your bench. Uh, if you have an incline bench, you can uh, kind of do a little incline and then get behind it and put your elbows on it and you can do that. A Couple of different options you can do. But uh, for arms, I'm gonna do that, or for biceps, I'm gonna do that, and for triceps, uh, it's a tough one. I love doing the skull crusher slash French press. I don't know which one it is that I do, but I take the dumbbell and I go back and I do that right there. And uh, boy, it really hits my triceps super hard. Ooh, it hurts so bad. Now I don't know if I'm gonna do that or if I'm going to do a single arm overhead and raise uh, extension, or if I'm gonna do a lat pull down. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you right now because I have to decide right now on camera. Hmm. I'm gonna do the skull crusher slash French press. I don't know. They're both about the same stupid thing to me. I know they're not the same thing, but my brain can't uh, remember which is which, but I think it's skull crushers that I do. I uh, take the dumbbell and Boy, them kill me. So I think I'm gonna do those two movements today, concentration curl and skull crusher dumbbell. Uh, you can also use a straight bar, an easy bar, or whatever you want. You could even get a cable and they make machines, all that kind of good stuff. So we're not gonna really do a video showcasing all my reps and sets and all that kind of stuff, but I will do one set of both body parts, uh, the bicep and the tricep, just to show you what I'm doing and uh, give you a little something to look at. All right, so let me get set up and get ready to go. All right. Now, these are old school. People have been doing these since the beginning of time, guys. Uh, these are nothing new. But uh, let's go ahead and do one set here. I'm starting out with the 20s. Um, so let's go ahead and do one set, okay? You're going to want to get that elbow nice and low. Get it up here so the arm is nice and... Uh, held good with your leg okay get a nice little sit and let's get it done one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve All right, so that was my first set of those. <clears throat> hey guys, remember to always have water. Water, water, water. Water cures everything. It might even cure death. I don't know. I have no idea, it might. Now, uh, like I said, make sure you get nice and uh, supported on that arm and uh, try to keep good form. Those actually work my arms out probably better than just about anything I do for my biceps. So there's a reason they're called concentration curls and that's because they really concentrate on your bicep. Now, let me touch on something. Um, I'm, sub uh, I'm subscribed to a channel, uh, Mac Bean. 
Scottish Fitness. Really cool guy. I've just kind of hooked up with him here lately uh, on YouTube. And a really cool guy. And he mentioned something. I believe I've seen him mention something in one of his videos today about uh, hand wraps and gloves and stuff like that. And uh, how he don't use them. And uh, I just wanted to touch base. And he, maybe he'll watch this. And uh, you'll know maybe, it, you know, I'll kind of fill you in on why I use them. But uh, I do use a wrap. Like, you know, your basic long wraps, you know, that people might use uh, for like to put under boxing gloves and stuff like that. I use those wraps and uh, then I put gloves over top of it to kind of help hold everything. And uh, one reason I do that is uh, it does help to keep my wrists a, a lot more like straight and strict and uh, without a lot of movement and also... Uh, that is because, somewhat because, uh, I have arthritis in my wrist. And there's days whenever my, whenever my wrists are like really bad and uh, any kind of movement, you know, at all, uh, it really, really hurts. And so the wraps kind of keep that tight and keep some pressure on there. So that's why I do wear uh, wraps. And uh, years ago, whenever I worked out, I also wore them. Uh, and uh, one thing that I find is whenever I bench press, uh, mostly years ago I could tell because uh, I did more free weights. Now I basically have the Smith machine right now, but I do use dumbbells. So hear me out. Uh, whenever I bench press, I use a suicide grip, which is where you're holding the bar like this and instead of gripping it like this. And he touched on this as well. So I've always used a suicide grip whenever I bench. And... Also having the wraps kind of help uh, stabilize the, the hands and the wrists a little bit while doing that. Also with dumbbells, uh, again, uh, not the greatest wrist in the world. So handling those 100 pound dumbbells, uh, there's been a few times where it was just like uh, I wanted to drop them. It was so painful, but I didn't drop them. But uh, it helps to kind of just keep them nice and uh uh, strict and, and kind of together and the pressure, you know, it's kind of like using elbow wraps and knee wraps and stuff like that It kind of keeps a nice pressure on there So I just wanted to kind of touch base on that and uh, make Bean, if you're watching uh, that's kind of my reason why I uh, do that and uh, You know, that's my little reason anyway, maybe I'm a wuss I'm a wuss You know, I use a pad when I squat too. So sorry uh, Anyway all right, so I need to get back on my uh, concentration curls or I'm gonna cool down, I have to do even more. And then we're gonna jump on triceps and I'll shoot one clip of that as well. All right guys, got the biceps done. I did 10 good sets of concentration curls and kept the reps between 10 and 12, mostly 10. Now I'm fixing to do dumbbell skull crushers. And again, keep your form nice and tight. Not everybody's gonna perform these things the exact same. Our bodies are all different. We all do things differently. But just make sure you keep that, your body's gonna like tighten up whenever you go back with that weight and your whole torso is gonna tighten up. Keep it tight, all right? Don't let things spill out. Keep your gut in check. Keep your arms in check as best you can. Get a good extension when you come up over your head and you come up over this way or you can just come up to about here. It's all within reason it's all good so i'm gonna do one set and let you see how that is i'm gonna start with 80 pounds because uh i want to work my way down and wait so normally i do four sets of the 80s which destroy me so today i'm just doing two sets with the 80s and then i'm gonna work down 50 45 40 35 30 25 20 etc so Let's get on those and uh, show you how that's done. Eight, 
10. <clears throat> so there you go, guys. That's my one set I'm gonna show you of the dumbbell skull crushers. Uh, let me know in the comments if you do those. A lot of people don't do those. Uh, I really enjoy them. I've started doing them again. And uh, boy, they really feel good. They feel better on my elbows than uh, tricep press down, you know, with the cable. Those feel a whole lot better to me. So a lot more control. I feel like my triceps get hit way better with those. And also, you'll notice that my uh, camera is on wide mode. Uh, I went ahead and uh, changed the lens over to wide on my GoPro 9. Uh, just to kind of get things in here a little bit better today. So, uh, yeah, we touched on some things on the gloves and the wraps. We touched on uh, my one movement per body part uh, workout that I'm doing. And I don't know if I touched on why I'm doing it, but my reasoning behind it is if you really hone in on that one movement, it really uh, concentrates itself on that muscle that you're working in that specific way whenever you're doing that one movement you're really working out that muscle in that one position that one movement and i believe without any scientific evidence that it really uh accentuates that muscle and really works out that muscle really well uh to its fullest extent without having to worry about hitting it this way and hitting it that way and doing this and doing that and uh, a bunch of kung fu fighting with the weights and stuff so give it a try for about six or eight weeks guys and see what you think uh, i'm gonna try my best to do it sometimes it's hard for me to remember but this week so far i'm doing good so anyway uh again we touched on drink water wraps if you need them everybody's body is different uh your form is not going to be the same as my form your workout way is not going to be the same as my workout way we're all kind of doing things our own way. Uh, you just have certain groups that do certain things certain ways, and that's just the way it is. So anyway, we're going to cut this video off here. I hope you enjoyed it just a little bit and got a little bit of uh, knowledge. Uh, I hope you give me some knowledge as well. And uh, don't forget, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to The Body Beatdown. Me, Michael, your incredible host. Uh, it's been an honor. It's just been a real honor, guys, to do this video and to serve you guys and to get this award. Oh, I don't have no award. it. Anyway, be an inspiration to someone today, tomorrow, and next week, and next year, including yourself. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it!